Relief on electricity costs could be on the horizon. Governor Gavin Newsom issued an executive order today aimed at lowering electric bills. He's calling on the California Public Utilities Commission to return unused energy programs back to customers. The order also directs state agencies to ensure utility investments are focused on cost-effective wildfire mitigation. Meantime, San Francisco is hoping to make electricity affordable to historically underserved communities. The Climate Equity Hub, launched in May, provides support for low-income residents to transition from gas to electric appliances. Max Darrow spoke with one San Francisco resident who saved thousands thanks to the program. Life's little routines have returned for Jolie Gorgian after a plumbing nightmare upended her world. From February until, was it July? We couldn't live in our home, so we could, you know, come back and forth and get clothes and get things. She and her son had no hot water for months because the plumbing problem ruined her gas-powered water heater. But it got ruined because the water came down on top of it and it, and I guess somehow it went in it. To replace it with just another gas one was between like three and 5,000. But after some research, Gorgian, an educator, figured out an event that set her back would actually propel her forward in terms of making her home more energy efficient and climate friendly at no cost. She met the criteria for a program the San Francisco Climate Equity Hub is running, where they install heat pump water heaters for free for qualifying residents. This is where we're going. Like, this is the more efficient way. California is moving away from gas-powered appliances. Some of the first to be phased out in the Bay Area, gas-powered water heaters. The Bay Area Air Quality Management District banned the sale and installation of them starting in 2027. Then Benny Zank is with SF's Environment Department. A huge part of San Francisco's uh, carbon emissions are from buildings and primarily from gas water heating, gas space heating. As they're phased out over the next several years. It's really important that these regulations not be harmful to our most vulnerable residents. Electrification isn't cheap. Hence, the Climate Equity Hub's heat pump water heater program. We're here to help and support residents and make sure that this is a real benefit both for their health but also financially. Longtime San Francisco renter Teresa Dulalas was grateful she qualified for an electric upgrade. Oh my gosh, we wouldn't be able to afford it. She is now all aboard the mission to lower emissions. Something like this, you know, it may be simple, but it actually will help you health-wise. And she says the energy efficient water heater already has saved her money on her utility bill. It went down really significantly and I said, hmm, interesting. So I'm going to watch again. Our environmental justice communities in San Francisco are the ones that have faced the most pollution and have had the most kind of low income residents. All right, I'll put them in. As for Gorgian, the transition from gas to electric was easier than she thought it would be and it got her out of a jam. I'm working full time, I'm taking care of my son. Um, I'm trying to figure out you know, how to get my house, re my bathroom and storage room rebuilt. So it really was a huge relief to feel that support from the city. She hopes others think of making the change proactively, benefiting their homes and the greater mission to reduce emissions. In order to qualify, you have to live in a single family home or building with four units or less. Your household earns 80% of the area median income or less. That's less than $115,300 per year. And you currently use a gas water heater that is more than eight years old.